Hey guys, and welcome back to this Monaco FIFA 17 career mode. Just a bit of a disclaimer before we start. I had a tooth extraction today. This side of my face is still quite numb, so I may look or sound a little different. But we're going to be kicking off today's episode with our first Champions League game of the season, away to Celtic. Then we travel to PSG, and then we're going to take a look at the squad with a squad report. So other than today's opponents, Shakhtar Donetsk and Manchester City are the other teams in this group. Let's see how the Scottish champions line up. Moussa Dembele up front, of course, a real danger, as is Scott Sinclair. We're sticking with the 4-4-2 formation. Belotti obviously got a hat-trick on his debut, so he will stay up front, partnering Mbappe. Yuri Tilmont and Jan Moutinho are going to be the two playmakers in midfield. Here's Martins on the run. He's just running. Remember, Belotti scored straight from kickoff on his debut, and he very nearly done it again there. Good save from Craig Gordon. Here's Scott Sinclair looking to show his pace. Takes the ball down the left-hand side. Is he going to cross it? No, plays a nice, nice ball inside. Here's Armstrong. Finds Dembele and we are one down inside 12 minutes. Wicked. I was far too preoccupied with the 1-2. I totally disregarded Dembele in the box. And he's made us pay. Look, that run stopped me there. Oh, terrible goal to concede. Here is Forrest down this right-hand side. Chance to put the ball into the box. Where's the defending? Where LaFont's done brilliantly, but Scott Sinclair is there to tuck the rebound home. It's 2-0 to Celtic. Shocking defending. Look at this. In the middle. Where's Glick going there? I don't know how he's missed that. It's a great save, but Scott Sinclair tucks it home. Congolo knocked it inside. Mbappe releases Belotti. He's got a runner to his right. And Jelson Martins. This must be a goal. Finish this, please. Straight at Craig Gordon. Really? Seriously? Here is Tillmont into Mbappe's feet. Lovely turn. He's rolled the defender. Can Mbappe get us back into this game? Yes, he can. Two minutes before half time. Just what we needed. Don't point at the home fans. Now that's a solid finish. This first touch created the space. Once he got the space, absolutely deadly. Belotti finds Yamutino. Oh, defender injured. Hello. Create some space for Mbappe here. Belotti at the back stick. Cross comes in. Oh, Belotti didn't even challenge for it, but Mbappe knocks it down, it's cleared away, and Celtic are going to go in at half-time with the lead, unless... No, they are, definitely. Switch to a 4-3-3 for the second half to match Celtic's formation. I feel like we've got the better players, so as long as we're playing the same formation, we should have the better of it, right? Dembele inside Scott Brown, back to Dembele. Oh, Glick. Oh, Glick. No way! He got it under the front. I thought that was going to go in. Comical defending. Belotti plays it left to Lamar. He's a runner. Played it back to Belotti. He hits a low drive. That's poor from his standards. Oh, nice turn from Belotti. Drive. Drive at the defenders. Ah, oh, he's lost out. However, Yuri Tillman stabs it forward. Belotti could be in here on his weaker left foot. Going to hit one across goal. Good save, Gordon. Mbappe's underneath it. Acrobatic attempt. Didn't strike it cleanly. It's getting better, though. Looking more positive. Tierney down this left-hand side. Opts not to put the ball into the box. Not sure why. Sounds some of the good interception. We can counter-attack here. Mbappe, he's got Belotti ahead of him. Run and pass is good. Belotti needs to just get away from his man and apply the finish here. Um, ref, you serious? 100% red card coming up here. He knew exactly what he was doing. There we go. I'm annoyed because I'm not sure if that's a penalty or not. It is a penalty and Belotti is going to... I don't know what his penalty stats are going to dust himself off and take this to try and get us level. Bang. Absolute clinical penalty there. 2-2. Two -two. Still got 15 minutes to go. Celtic a man down. So from where I'm sitting, we can go on and win this game. That's a very good penalty. Belotti strikes again. Set piece. Going to be played short. Here is Yamutino. Can he create? Oh, don't lose it. Finds Torre. On to Sanson. Mbappe plays it in. Belotti. Oh, that is so cool. That is such a composed finish. He did the cheeky look away and slid it past the keeper. Unreal. 2-0 down, 3-2 up. Good build-up play. Credit to Mbappe, but look at this finish. Touch and look away. That is unreal. Oh, ball drops loose. Belotti on a hat-trick. No way. What a strike. I was going to say, not two consecutive hat-tricks, surely. Oh, lovely touch there from Gamboa. He's got a chance to put the ball in. Don't concede late. Oh, Lafont. Hero. What a save. There we go. Full time whistle goes. Big, big three points. We needed that win, I feel. Always, always OCD about getting off to a winning start in any sort of group, stage or league. And we've done that today, just. So off the back of that, we've got PSG away. The toughest fixture in terms of league fixtures all season. They're going to be playing a 4-3-3. 
They've got Cavani, Di Maria and Jesse Rodriguez up front. Jesse, who's obviously gone to Stoke on loan in real life. Done bits at the weekend, by the way. I am sticking, it's a bold move, away to PSG with a 4-3-3 formation. But if we win this, if we win this, we go top. Fabinho finds Vidio. Big chance for him today. Mbappe, Vidio continues his run. Vidio is onside. Can he finish? That's a foul. It is a foul. We've got a penalty inside the opening five minutes. I think that's a harsh one. Actually, no, it's not. Nowhere near the ball. Nowhere near the ball. Going to give this one to Fabinho then. Penalty taken of 90. And that is why. Side netting. 1 0 here in Paris. Not quite sure what to do with the celebration. So I'm going to run over here. Are the subs here? It's a bench here? No, just point. Okay. Free kick here, which Di Maria stands over. This could be a very dangerous situation. He plays it in. Headed away by Congolo. Can we counter attack here? Fabinho, kind of on his own. But he might not need any support. Go on, mate. Tax it inside. Vidio is going to hold this up. And hold it up just long enough oh, for a runner. He's still got it out to Jan Moutinho. Shot the flex. Very nearly looped in to the roof of the net. Corner ball. Corner driven in towards Belotti, who just got his bearings all wrong there. Jameson with the worst first touch ever. And the attack is over. Go on, Vidio. Go on, Vidio. Just run. You are literally on your own at this point, mate. Until a runner to the left. A runner in the middle. Jan Moutinho. Has he got the footwork to get past his man? Can he finish? Good save from Trap. Incisive counter-attack, though. Love that. I say. Finds Kikovia into Rabiot. Nice turn. No. No. Good save, Lafont. He's been decent last couple of games. He's on jinx it. Corner. Goes deep. Very deep. Oh, all the way to the back. Rabio puts it across. Glick helps the ball away. Medea now in some space. Has he got the pace to keep going? He cuts back. Knocks the ball inside. Great ball. Sanson cuts it back. Belotti. Oh, he's rushed it. Rushed it. Could have taken a touch. Kikovia, good ball. Jameson, good defending. Ball has played out wide. medea has got the better of Aurier here. Has he got the strength to hold him off? No, but he's won it back. That's a good play. Congolo plays it back in. Badio finds Sanson. Congolo continues his run. Knocks the ball inside. Belotti knocks it down looking for Vidio. Didn't happen. Sanson's got the strength here to hold off his man. Approaching half time. That's a foul. What is that for a tackle? Apparently Sanson is the best man to take this free kick. We'll soon see. It's up over the wall and over the crossbar. So half time here in Paris. Fabinho's penalty in the opening couple of minutes is what separates the two teams. As it stands, we're top. Rabio. Finds Kikoviak into Cavani. This is a good move. Oh, no. Get there, get there, get there. Oh, Glick. Oh, nearly an OG. What is Lafont doing? He should have done better with that. And Glick's made up for it. He's bottled that one, though. Shot comes in. Cleared away. Glick, get rid. What's going on? Offside. Danger cleared. Belotti storming forward. Go on, mate. Bit of strength. Here is Sanson. Nice turn. Needs a runner. Could have chipped it over the top. Instead, we go back to Yamutinho. Sanson gets it back. Touched on Fabinho. Touch and finish. Trap with the save. Fabinho with the scuff. What a chance. Di Maria, nice bit of skill down this left-hand side. Six across in. Hesse is there. Glick, what are you doing? No. What a terrible, terrible clearance. And with 20 minutes to go, PSG are level. The font was unlucky. He got a foot to it. Great camera angle, by the way. This clearance from Glick, I, I tried to pass it out, to be fair. My fault. Sanson into Fabinho as we look to retake the lead here. That's the deal. Finds Torre. Skins his man. There's a man inside. Oh, who's this? Mbappe. Oh, what a block. What? He's given a goal kick. Surely that was not just a swing and a miss. Oh, wow. He's only gone and missed the header. Here is Hesse. Puts the ball in. Oh, Cavani. Inches away from getting his head on it. Would have been difficult to score. But here comes the PSG onslaught. So look to win this game. Ball is back in. Lafont claims it well. Di Maria finds Cavani. They're in here, PSG, if they play this right. Oh, good interception from Glick. This game wide open. Anybody's for the take-in now in the final few minutes or so. Three minutes ago, PSG have a corner. I've completely changed the front three, by the way, because they were so tired. And if we we're going to counter-attack, we need pace up top. Cross comes in. The font punches it. And here we go. Here we go. Where is that PSG defence? They've completely gone for the win here. Do I be sweaty or do I try and slot it away with Schick? you got to win. Oh, my God. I nearly missed that. If it wasn't the 90th minute and the scores weren't level, I would never be that sweaty. But you've got to do all you can to get the win. Especially in top of the table clash. The pass from Schick wasn't even great. Such a spawny goal. Di Maria 
Stamps it forward. Lafont comes a long way. Gets fists on it. And Martins. Oh. There you go. I thought that was a foul. I thought a foul had been given, but he's blown for full time. We've beaten PSG just. It was their own doing. Their own downfall. They pushed so many players forward. We are now top of the league. Look at that. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Thank you for bearing with me while I can barely speak, by the way. I know it must be annoying for you guys, so apologies. But I just didn't want to not put a video up. We're the only... Well, there's three of us, actually, that still haven't lost the game. Ourselves, Stad, Renee and Lille. But we're top for the first time, I think, this season. Can we stay there? That is a question. We faded away last time as the fixture congestion got too much and the squad depth wasn't quite there. We've got a slightly bigger squad than what we had last year, so I'm hoping we can last to the end. Speaking of squads, let's do a squad report. I'll keep it quick. I'll keep it brief. We're short in the goalkeeping department, to be honest, but Lafont is the main man and he's been playing well recently. We've got Baddy Shield who we're training because he's showing great potential. We need him to be a backup goalkeeper. Toure is playing with the majority of games at right back because the other right back, Sidibe, is injured, as you can see, and he will be back in two weeks, which is good because they're both very, very accomplished right backs. Glick, you don't expect a lot to happen with his stats because he's 29, but he's a captain for this season and he's ever-present in the side. As is Jameson, I can imagine he's going to rotate a little bit with Issa Diop, the new arrival. Don't know who Almeida is, he's one of the young players, but Issa Diop, here you go, you can see his stats are increasing, his overall's gone up plus one. We just signed him for 15 mil, which for me is an absolute bargain, an absolute steal. We've got Rob Holden on loan for a little bit longer. Abdu Diallo, not going to play, but he's there if we need him. Terence Congolo, the new sign-in. Signed in real life, of course, which is why we went out and got him. Scored the opening goal of the season with an absolute banger. And he seems to have settled in quite nicely. Got George as a backup left-back, who I'm happy with. Very quick in terms of acceleration. And I trust him to come in and do a job when we need it. Don't know who that is. Morgan Sanson, 40 mil we paid for this guy. And... From what I've seen so far, he's worth every penny. He kind of dictates the midfield, um, dictates the tempo of the game. Very decent. Got a goal and two assists in his opening seven appearances for the club. So I'm happy with that return. Fabinho, obviously rumoured to be leaving Monaco in real life. Maybe going to PSG. He's kind of ever-present. One of the first names on the team sheet. Mater, we haven't... I don't even know if that's how you say it. Maite? Mater? That's signed in real life, which is why I've got him. You haven't seen him play yet. Stats are kind of... Eh. 77 overall. We've got better options there. This man divides so many opinions. People saying sell him. People saying play him. People saying keep him. He's very, very quick. And he's got all the technical attributes you need. But he just doesn't really produce in terms of sort of end product and stuff. Diaz we tried to sell. Quentin Jean tried to sell. Yuri Tillman's come in and joined us last season. He's starting to see the return now. Three goals already this year in 11 appearances. The majority of those have probably been from the bench but he's quite an exciting prospect doesn't look a great deal on paper but he will be one to watch he's only 20 years old and 81 rated on the decline so in the contrast is Yao Moutinho's contract expiring in 10 months although when he plays he does score create it's what he's kind of done his entire career so he can still offer us a little something we've got a few younger players now and then we've got Thomas Lamar look, three goals and three assists in 10 games that is superb 21 years old very highly valued. Again, another player that's rumoured to be leaving in real life, but so far hasn't gone anywhere. So, Alvaro Video, only valued at 2.9 mil, and I don't know why, because he's decent. Two goals, one assist in seven appearances so far. He's kind of the backup to Lamar, and we bring him in when we need an injection of pace. Then we've got St. Maximum, who we accepted a bid for, but he never actually left the club, which is weird. Antonucci seeing minimal game time this year, just the one appearance so far in pre-season. He was featured a lot last year which just shows how much better our squad depth is gazal another one of the new signings that signed in real life not made a league appearance for us yet probably will stay that way unless something happens to martins or we could sell martins use gazal and then raise a lot of cash marcus lopez do nothing with but then mbappe five goals four assists in 12 games as you can see has the potential to be special his stats are pretty special maybe his nose has been put out of joint with the arrivals of Schick who's yet to get off the mark, but he's only 21, 81, uh, 80 rated, sorry. 20 million, bit of a bargain, but yet to score, like I said. Whereas this man, five goals in his opening three games for the club. Is this upsetting Mbappe? I don't know, we'll see if that takes a toll, but it just gives us so many more options to rotate. 
in terms of the main striker. And then we've got Diakavi as well, who joined in real life, which is why we've brought him in. But he is yet to make an appearance. But that's going to end this episode, guys. Apologies again for the face and the special talking. Like, oh, it's really painful. I'm sorry, I just had to get a video done. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you next time when I can hopefully speak properly.